Hello and welcome to Shorts. Today I'm going to demonstrate a program that can read and write text files. To make things a little bit more interesting, I'm also going to be encoding and decoding the contents of the file with a simple uh, mechanism. Alright, go ahead and make a new class with a main method. The first method that I'm going to make is going to be called this is going to be returning a string and its name is going to be file reader and it is going to take a argument of type string called file name I'm going to make a new file object called my file and set this equals to a new file import the java.io file class and to arguments set arguments equals to file name next make a string called my string and set this equals to nothing just to initialize it then I'm going to make a new scanner object called scan equals new scanner import the scanner class and inside the scanner argument set this to my file now this is going to be giving me an error because I need to surround this with try catch in case this file doesn't exist I'm also going to be trying the following bit of code while scan dot has next line equals to my string is going to be I'm going to add the following to my string scan dot next line this way I'm going to be able to iterate through the entire contents of the files each line and scan the contents to my line string and at the end I'm just going to say return my string also do not forget to close our scanner object all right now I'm going to make a method for encoding public static uh, this is going to be void actually I'm going to call this encoder it's going to take a string variable called my string and inside this I'm going to make a new hash map it's going to contain a a character value a character key and a character value I'm going to call this my map equals new hash map and semicolon at the end then I'm going to create a new string called my code that string and I'm going to set this equals to a, a nothing as well. Then I'm going to make a new int called max. And the logic that I'm, I'm working on here right now is that I'm going to be making a new hash map and filling it with keys and values in a for loop, which I'm going to do right now. And uh, I'm going to be replacing each character of my string, which I have read from my file, with a different character value than it is, than it has, and my map is going to be holding these related values. So int i is going to be less than 31. I think characters in ASCII go from 0 to 255. But uh, 
I'm only going to be using a certain range from 31 until 126 because I don't want to be using the other characters because most of them are just weird. So I'm just going to avoid using those by putting it putting in this range. I'm going to make a new character called key. And this is going to be equals to to max. And I'm going to be casting this to a character. And I'm also going to be making another value, a character value called value. And I'm going to call this min. Then I'm going to take my map dot put in the characters key and value. And I'm going to remove one from max and remove one from min. Actually add one to min. And this is going to scramble our uh, our characters and this is going to be encoding or decoding it. This is going to be encoding it and I'm going to make the the uh, decoding in a moment. I'm also going to be adding my map dot dot get dot put actually and here I'm going to be putting I'm going to be casting uh, to character 10 and uh, and 10. The reason I'm doing this is because I do not want these to be changed. I'm going to just leave these as they are. I'm going to make another for loop for int i equals 0 and this is just going to iterate through my coded string or my my string dot length it is going to iterate through my string and for each string each uh, position at string which I'm going to say by the following char my char is equals to my string dot character at index i this is going to iterate through my entire string and my code that string is going to be built. So I'm going to be disassembling my string, which was the original string, and building my code that string according to the rules that I have installed in my map hash map. And so I'm going to add my map dot get my character my char all right and now we're going to have to put something here in the end just to write this function but i have not yet written that so i'm just going to sit here missing and now i'm going to copy and paste this and this is going to be the same for our decoding method. So our encoding and decoding is the same. The only difference is that this is going to be named decoder. And here I'm just going to switch value and key. And this way it's going to reverse the process that we have done. And that's all. Now for writing and for writing the encoder and writing the decoder, we're just going to do the following. I'm going to say public static. This is also going to be named void file writer encoded. This is going to take string this string. And inside, I'm going to create a new string called file name. 
or out file name and this is going to be the name of the file that we're going to be wanting to output onto our whatever which is going to be our desktop and its name is going to be encoded and uh, that's just going to be the name of our output of file name and I'm going to make a new print writer called output stream equals new print writer and it's going to be outputting out file name I'm going to use a have to use a try catch here because this is not always a uh, executable code and I'm also going to set output stream dot print line the string and um, I'm just going to have to close this output stream object and this we, we discussed that this doesn't return anything so we're done and I'm just going to copy and paste this for for, for writing the encoded I'm just going to call this decoded method and instead of writing encoded here I'm just going to call this decoded.txt that's the only difference that we're going to be making now this is the file writer encoded so right here we're going to be calling this method file writer encoded and we're going to setting this to my code that string and here in our decoding method we're just going to set here file decoded method we're going to be calling the file decoded uh, method and setting this to my code that string excellent and I think we're all almost done the only thing that is missing right now is in our main class I'm going to create two new strings which I'm just going to be copying and pasting for uh, the sake of simplicity and these are going to be names of our string that already exist Here is my original. In this original file, I have some uh, some text. And now I'm going to be calling the first method, which is going to say file reader. Actually, I'm going to have, I have to call the encoder first. And this is going to be from my file reader with the file name of, uh, of this file name in here. And I'm going to have to be calling the decoder called file writer decoder file reader and now I'm also going first only going to be running the, the encoder so I'm just going to run this quickly And I'm going to show you that we got a file that looks like this, completely unreadable. And then I'm going to run my other method. And this got me a file called decoded and we got back.